Welcome back, True Seeker. I want to explain why there's nothing more pathetic than a flat earther. The entire flat earth community is the same. There's no thinking going on within this community. It's just a bunch of believers and evidence has no bearing on them. Right here is all the evidence you would ever need that the earth isn't flat. Here you have a picture from the water of this city. And here you have a picture of this same city, but for, further away. This is approximately 30 miles away. And notice the difference. The stadium. You can just see the top. The base of these buildings. It's hidden. And why is this? It's because of perspective. When you're further away, due to the curvature of the earth, the base of these structures is hidden. These are simple things to understand, and they are definitive proof that the earth is curved. You can show this to people who believe the earth is flat all day, and they'll just dismiss it. Because in their mind, they've already decided the earth is flat, and it doesn't matter what evidence is given to them. They just believe this. It's that quote that you cannot convince a believer of anything. And the sad part about the flat earth belief is just how stupid it is. There is a million different ways to disprove the flat earth. From a sunrise to a sunset to a perspective observation such as this to the fact that opposite hemispheres see different constellations of stars because we're on a sphere. If we were on a flat plane, we'd all be looking up at the same sky. And there's a lot more ways, which I've covered in the past. Since 2015, when the Flat Earth PSYOP broke, I've put out countless videos exposing the nonsense of Flat Earth. And the reason I've spent so much time exposing it is because it is one of the most detrimental things to the truth community. Sadly, it has taken a lot of you. Last year, around this time, when I put out about 10 straight videos exposing the Flat Earth, you know, I lost like 5,000 subscribers out of whatever I had at the time, around 50,000. And I didn't care because I was saying in those videos, look, if you believe in the flat earth, I'd rather not have you around. I don't want dumb people following this work. I don't want dumb people being associated with my work. I don't want you sharing gematria and flat earth with people because they're just going to automatically throw away my research, you know, because you're telling them the earth is flat. Even the sheep who are too cowardly to confront the truth, they're not dumb enough to fall for the Flat Earth PSYOP. Those of you falling for the Flat Earth PSYOP are really dumb people. You are. I mean, you're fucking dumb. There, there's no reason to argue that the Earth is flat. It's just such a fucking dumb thing to do. There's zero proof that the Earth is flat. Nothing in this world is flat. Raindrops aren't flat. Your arguments that you look out and the water looks flat to you are just fucking stupid. Do you understand that water takes on any shape? I, if I had a curved tube and I put water in it, the water would fill the tube perfectly. What's happening with the oceans, the reason it looks flat, is because the water level is all being pulled towards the center of the earth, so it becomes relatively level. To your eye, it looks level. The, the flat earth belief is based on real small mindedness and, and lack of understanding. And because of this small mindedness, a lot of simple points that totally disprove the flat earth just escape their mind immediately. The sun, as it orbits the earth, or as the earth orbits the sun, I understand how you could, you could have an argument about that, what's really orbiting what, but... The proof that the earth is orbiting the sun is the fact that all the water is being pulled towards the center of the earth. But anyway, the earth orbiting the sun, the sun stays the same size in the sky through the entire process from the sunrise to the sunset. It does not change in size. And don't show me some flat earth video that's been purposefully, you know, contrived to dupe someone. You can prove to yourself by getting a camera with a, a filter 
that the sun's size does not change as it passes through the sky in the daytime. It stays the exact same size. Flat earthers are arguing that what's happening is the sun's passing over a region of the world, and then once it gets so far away, it looks like it sets, and the sky goes dark. And they're arguing the sun is like a lamp. Well, if that were true, the sun would get smaller. You know, it would start smaller in the rise, and then it would get bigger as it goes over your head, and then it would get smaller. But this does not happen. And because this does not happen, that is definitive proof in itself. The earth is not flat. So things that are real proof, you know, they're not weighing on the minds of the flat earthers. They're just believers, and they want to believe that the earth is flat. And why do they want to believe this? Because they think in the Bible it says the earth's flat, even though it doesn't say that anywhere in the Bible. It says the heavens are separated from the earth. That could entirely be true. That doesn't prove the earth's flat. It says there's the four corners of the earth. Obviously, a sphere can't have four corners. You can make an argument that a flat earth has four corners, but... What exactly does that mean? So many Bible verses are unclear. You know, there's the verse about how Jesus came to bring the sword. And so many Christians say, well, what that really means is he meant to bring the word. But why does it say sword? You know, almost every Christian you bring that verse up to, they say, well, he meant, it means, it means word. But all throughout the Bible, the word word is used. Why does it say sword there? You see, you find this with Bible believers. They want to, you know, make each verse mean what they think it means. This is why you go to 10 different churches on a Sunday and you can get 10 different interpretations for every Bible verse. And this is the way it is. And this is why Christianity is all divided up and segregated. Everyone has their own different interpretations. So using Bible verses to say that the earth's flat, I mean, that's just stupid. And, and how many times has the Bible been retranslated since its original script? How much different do you think it is than the original script? So if you want to start using the English translations of the Bible and things such as the four corners to say that the earth is flat instead of using, you know, verifiable evidence that it's not, such as this and a million other things, you know, it just makes you really dumb. And it makes it so that you're not about truth. It makes it that you're about the Bible, which is fine. You can be about the Bible, but don't start... You know, saying the Bible is proof over all other things. I mean, if, if that's your stance, then you shouldn't be online. You should just be reading your Bible. You shouldn't be on YouTube searching for information. You shouldn't be listening to Eric Dubay, who dresses up in dresses. You shouldn't be listening to Jaronism, who has some weird commercial about, you know, join him for his threesome. You know, I, I went on their program about a year ago. And he asked me to come on at the last minute to talk about Flat Earth. And he said, don't do any research. He said, we're not going to have a real big debate. I just want to have a conversation about why you're not into Flat Earth. So I said, okay, I'll come on. And uh, I went on a show. And it started off with them just like harping and attacking me. And I was thinking, hmm, this isn't what he asked me to do. And he's trying to pull out all these facts. I was like, wow, he asked me not to do any research. And he said, we're just going to have a nice conversation. And now I'm coming on his radio program I mean, and his wife are just like attacking me, you know? So, I mean, this is what a flat earther is. A flat earther is a dishonest person. I guarantee you, Jaronism doesn't think the earth's flat. Jaronism's getting paid to say the earth's flat, you know? Jaronism's one of the paid for shills. And I don't think it's True Frequency Radio paying for him to do it. But True Frequency Radio has given him and other flat earthers a platform. And I've said on my radio show, on True Frequency Radio, that if we want to be taken seriously as a radio station, we should get rid of all the flat earth promoters. Flat earth's a joke. It's for fucking idiots. It's for fucking retards. It's a complete shill operation. The people pushing it are all shitty people. And that's a fact. I don't run TFR. I can't make the decisions. And honestly, I'm sure a lot of people don't tune into TFR because it promotes Flat Earth. You know? That's the whole problem with Flat Earth. It does have a big audience, but pushes away people who do need to be here in truth. People who have a brain who are thinking, you know, oh my God, people are trying to argue the earth's flat. And it is an oh my God thing. It's just pathetic. It is pathetic to say that the earth's flat. Every single flat earth shill has to lie to prove their points. Eric Dubay always uses mismeasurements. He'll say, this 
is from a hundred miles away and look you can't see any curvature and then you go and look up the distances like wow that distance is a mile and a half away and here Eric Dubé is claiming it's a hundred miles away I mean it's just pathetic and all of you are getting taken by this stuff you know somebody captures a glare in their camera that makes the sun look like it's big and then it shrinks and then you're sharing that video with me going Here's proof of the earth sh or the sun shrinking. And I'm thinking, oh my God, what don't you guys get about perspective and camera and technology and, you know, things looking <laughs> off because of the way they were filmed? I mean, if you sit there and watch the sun rise and set, it doesn't change in its size in the sky. None of you have ever seen the, the sun shrink into a tiny dot as it sets, like these flat earth videos promote. It's, it's almost as if all of you flat earthers have never been outside. You know, there's the bad stereotype about living in your mother's basement. It's almost like all of you flat earthers have never been let out of your mother's basement. Seriously. Go to the beach. I mean, have you guys ever been to the beach and watched the sunset behind the ocean? <laughs> How does that happen on a flat earth? It doesn't. If you had a telescope, if you think about it, I mean, get out a telescope and watch the sunset behind the ocean and then pull out your telescope and then tell yourself why the sun's not there. Why isn't it there? With a telescope, you should be able to make up that distance. Because these flat earthers are telling you it's gone out of the limit of your eyes. So you see the darkness. Well, the telescope should pull it right back up. You know? It doesn't. Because it's set behind the curvature of the earth. So this is common sense. If you think the earth's flat, you don't have common sense. You know, if you can't see that the Earth's not flat from examples like this, you don't have common sense. All right, we'll leave it at that. Until next time, true C.